All right, guys, in the top left-hand corner of the map brought out here by Caronte. Try to take it back to uh, two to three. We'll see if he can do it. The green Zerg player, Giant. His opponent in the bottom right-hand corner from the team, Incredible Miracle. It's true. The map's the Antigua Shipyard, guys. Uh, we have got a ZVZ on our hands, and I'm sorry that I resort to such ridiculous things for fun, but I'm all by myself, so cut me some slack. Um, ZVZ on Antigua is really pretty safe. There's a little bit of a staging area, you know, up here. So there is a certain limit to the effectiveness of things like spine crawlers. Because, you know, if you're against, like, a big roach play, like, for instance, uh, one base roach play to try to counter... Uh, or not one base, excuse me, but uh, layerless, I should say, is the actual expression. But it's basically one base roach play. Um, you can use, like, no speed, no upgrade roach timings to try to counter mute on this map because opponents, your opponent's only going to be able to build spine crawlers, like, here and here. And it's kind of awkward to put them behind here, so they'll, like, end up... I mean, they will, but then you can come over here and hit it. It's nice and wide is basically the point I'm getting to. So you can only engage with some of the spine crawlers if you want to. As opposed to, you know, other maps, maybe... Uh, well, actually, Tomb Valley is really open for aggression because of how open the ramp is. It kind of juts out to the front uh, of your hatchery. Here, your ramp is very nice and defended. So things like rin Ling runbys are much more difficult as it's easy for a queen to get in position to actually wall off on the ramp. We'll have to see what both of these players opt to go for. Giant actually... <laughs> Giant comes in to drop block the 15 hatchery, and he's like, all right, let me get into your base. Um, The drone actually walked by, and so in that circumstance, Giant wants to turn around and be able to um, be able to block this 15 hatch from going down for true. He didn't do it, and so now the 15 hatch is on the board. Giant's 15 hatch, of course, is later. You can actually look at how much a hatchery is delayed by sending out a scout. This is perfect. Uh, so 35, 36, you're looking at that. I don't know why I did that, because you can just check here. So there it is, six second delay. Now you know. Now I know. Uh, we'll continue to see Overlord spread across the entire map until somebody decides to go for Mutalisk, which at some point is probably inevitable. Giant is opening um, with the quicker gas here. True has yet to grab, actually, his... Oh, I am completely wrong. Excuse me, guys. I was looking at the production tab. Uh, True has gone for a very quick gas. In fact, he's already mined 50, and by the time this is done... Okay, so it's going to be about 60 gas ahead for True. And his spawning pool is a little bit... No, they're pretty identical, identically timed here, actually. So True's just going to have a much, much quicker speed, a good um, a good 45 seconds or so. We'll see what he's able to do with it. Overlord coming in right now is going to see that queen start up on the hatchery. You can see it start to wriggle and do a little, like, dance. And one of the cool things is um, it's really easy if you're looking at a hatchery to see when it starts producing a queen. Because no matter where it's at in its animation of, like, let's actually see if they're... No, they're all making queens. I want to show you a hatchery that's like going through the normal animations of not producing something. But no matter what stage it's in, in its, like, slow wiggle animation, it will cut immediately to this... It will look sharp and jagged. So you can see the second a hatchery starts a queen, because it suddenly switches to the making a queen cinematic animation thing. So, like, see how it's real slow right now? It's kind of just breathing and taking its time. Um, but it gets real jagged all of a sudden. And so it's really easy to s see if you're watching when somebody starts up uh, a queen is basically what we're going for there. So Ling's being pumped out right now by True. He's going to make four of them. Giant, on the other hand, is going for a spine crawler and a, an evolution chamber, in fact, uh, to help wall off a bit here. So we'll see if we see a spire tech out of him playing it uh, a little safe. Spine crawlers are a little more common with spire tech, uh, but it certainly doesn't mean that that is the route they have to be going for. Third queen on the way as well for Giant here, which lends me a little bit more to believe that he may not be going for it. Eight queens, or eight links, ten queens actually starting up for True. He's going to be putting on the pressure here. Evo Chamber, is there a Baneling Nest? No, there is no Baneling Nest here for Giant. And this is extremely dangerous. Uh, did True manage to get a glimpse of this? I mean, no, he's actually still mining quite a bit of gas. Look at all the gas that Giant has right now. Roach Warren going down. This is a very late Roach Warren. Banelink's morphing in. There are four of them. There is a Spine Crawler here. And so with very nice target fire and perfect usage of these queens, Giant may be able to hold this off. But it's going to be difficult. Here we go. Banelink's coming up the ramp right now. 
He doesn't want to walk these. Yeah, you need to walk these around the left-hand side. The Zerglings are going to be targeting on the Spine Crawler. Bailing's crashing and killing off all the larva, but he's going to fall back after that, knowing that all the drones, take a look, all the drones have evacuated their way into the main base, and that's perfectly okay. There are four drones basically right now that are getting very inefficient mining. You can actually kind of just see them running around. Like, here's... Oh, oh I'm trying to get him. So, uh, that guy. That guy's just, like, running around and... Now he's going to move him back to get back to his efficient mining. Second spine crawler down as well. And from here, True is just macroing up. Gas is going down. Three, uh, four gases. All four gases will be taken by True here in the near future. Taking a look at the economy of both players, he's ahead by two workers. Giant does have carapace research being done. Ling's out on the field. We'll be going for a counterattack here. And Giant is... Well, I'm waiting for Giant to actually um, start his lair. And he may very well not. It's entirely possible with, no, three and four gases. He should be going for a lair here. Um, he could time it. Let's see. So if he starts his lair in 10 seconds, it's actually going to be perfectly timed that his lair will complete right when he can start plus two carapace. So we'll see if that is actually what happens here in just a moment for Giant as we're nearing that time. And he would want to start it up right about now, actually. I don't know. He's even a little bit late. I forgot how quickly StarCraft time. Yeah. <laughs> passes. Creep spread on the field for True, folks. His lair is done, and actually there is the lair. There is the lair. It's not in his main base. Uh, for Giant. True on the other side of the map. His lair is complete. Burrow on the way. And he's going for very quick roach, uh, roach speed here. Is there going to be an infestation pit or a spire? I, I mean, not a spire really at this point. Not with the amount of, uh, not with Burrow and plus one and roach warren. We could actually just see a focus on Roach Hydra. That's entirely possible. True's going to be grabbing his third base. He's moving out with some Zerglings right now to uh, get a peek at this third. You can actually see he's clicking right on this location. And this is a great time in order to be doing this. He's going to discover this third base. He actually gets in there with some Zerglings before the rest. Giant doesn't have enough to stop this, actually. This third's going down, and this is really, really bad for him. Drone gets killed off, in fact, as well. And now True's going to run up with these Zerglings. He will see these units and pull back. Uh, he should also be able to get a peek at the upgrades and see that plus one carapace is done, which is going to be pretty important for him to uh, gain knowledge of. Roach is on the way right now for True. An infestation pit on the way for Giant. But infestors are simply put not as good now in ZVZ uh, that infestor Terrans do not get the upgrade advantages uh, when you know you get those upgrades for your units. And what we're seeing because of that is more and more players actually go for like Roach Hydra or Roach Ling and lots more economy on these less expensive units because you need the extra hatcheries anyways and you're more mobile with those. But uh, True is going to be dropping down the infestation pit, so we'll, we'll see you know how heavily he decides to invest into infestors. But the reality of it is you know if you split your roaches really, really well, you actually, infestors are not that much of a threat. So you just can't get caught by them. And, uh, well, actually, True has opted for Burrow. Remember that. So he may be able, with that Burrow Roach complete, to catch Giant off guard at some point and get in some damage on those clumped Roaches. Roaches without Roach Speed on the uh, aggression right now for Giant. True, of course, has Roaches with Roach Speed. Oh, man. There is no Overseer with this army right now. And this is just a trap in the waiting. This is uh, could be extremely dangerous play. The day's status if Giant pushes down this ramp, but... Seems like he's sensing the trap, and he does fall back. A really lucky play there uh, for Giant, and, and that's going to work out for him fantastically. Plus one uh, missile attacks is complete for True. He's going to be pushing out across the map. Plus one missile attacks will uh, be... If you take a look here, you can see that the damage is 18 for the Roaches, but only one extra armor here. Um, so this is going to be really in True's favor with a massive concave with an upgrade that means a lot more. Spawn Crawler falling down. Giant could just die right now, guys. He's got Infestors on the way. He's making a big tech transition. Plus one. Missile attacks is nearly complete for him, but I don't know that's going to be enough. True is barreling his way into the natural expansion, and Giant just simply put, was caught while teching, while making a lot of roaches, while investing too heavily into upgrades. And True is now 40 supply ahead, and this entire game, actually, I mean, True has kind of just made Giant play into his hands, even in the early games, forcing him to build those additional spy crawlers, forcing him to pull drones back into the main base. Uh, Giant had three early queens, which of course cost him money as well. And he made early roaches. He made a bunch of early roaches in addition to this. And, uh, you know, True really just powered out economy. He was greedy, greedy, greedy after those first 10 links. Infester gets sniped before it does anything. There it is, folks. GG for Giant. Karante is now down 1-4. to four, uh, Thanks to some fantastic play so far. And I am True.
Hope you're enjoying the broadcast today. It's a little, it's a little tough here, not having my my wingmen. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm thinking about some of the stuff you guys have said in chat. It's been hilarious. I am is going to win without even playing Nesty or MVP. Entirely possible. Uh, don't like you calling a good read lucky, to be honest. Uh, I, yeah, I, I, I admit, actually, as I said that, I was kind of like, it was also just really, really, it, it was fortunate uh, in all reality is that he didn't push forward, and it was a very, very good read out of Giant saying, something is askew here. Why would you just give me map control? So uh, that was really, really smart out of Giant. Um, I guess that's it, guys. We're going to cut to a quick commercial break. Four to one right now for Team Incredible Miracle. Karante has got their backs against the ropes. And ladies and gentlemen, as I'm sure you would expect, Vortex is going to be coming out next. Another ZVZ after this two-minute break. See you there. <laughs> 